Welcome to today's session. Today, I would want us to look at uh, again accounting for associates as per IAS 28, which recommends equity method, equity method in terms of accounting for associates. And I happen to be having a question with me here. So this is the question that I would want us to look at. So they want us down here to prepare the group consolidated statement of financial position of HATSOP as of 31st December 2019. I don't want to do group accounting here. I only want us to look at uh, how do we account for this associate. And this time around, the most interesting thing here is that uh, we happen to be having, we happen to be having, we happen to be having uh, dividends. So what are we told here? We are told a HATSOP, a public limited company, operates in the retail sector. The draft statement of financial position at 31st December 2020 are as follows. So we have assets there all the way. And then we are told that the following information relates to the preparation of the group financial statements. On 1st on first January 2019, Hatsop acquired 70% of the equity interest of Sikdo for a cash consideration of 30, 40 million. So 70% is quite high. That, of course, signifies what here? Control. Not unless you're told otherwise, 70% signifies that uh, Hatsop is in control of Sikido. So Sikido must be what here? A subsidiary, not unless you're told otherwise. So at 1st January 2014, the identifiable net assets of Sikido had a fair value of 1850 million and retained earnings were 450 million. The excess in fair value is due to an item of property, plant, and equipment that has a remaining useful life of 10 years. It is a group's policy to measure the non-controlling interest at acquisition at, at its proportionate share of the fair value of the subsidiary's net assets. On 1st January 2020, Hartsop acquired 25% of the equity interest of Angleton for a cash consideration of 200 million. Angleton's profit for the year was 80 million, out of which a dividend of 20 million was declared on 31st December 2019. The 25% holding gives Hatsop the power to participate in the operating and the financing decisions of Angleton. Ladies and gentlemen, we are told that this 25% basically gives Hatsop the power to do what to participate. The power to participate in the running of a company, automatically that means what here? Significant influence. We are participating in terms of a policy definition of this entity. So it gives a significant influence and significant influence means that uh, that company is uh, an associate, is an associate, is an associate. So I'd want to show you how to account for it. It's very easy. So the first thing we start with is how much did it cost the investor to procure this associate? So what is the cost of the associate? What is the cost of the associate? So the cost of the associate, the cost of this associate, they've told us here that the cost of the associate, the cost of the associate, the cost of the associate, they told us here on 1st July, 2020, 1st July 2020, right? It's key, very important for us to understand the date here, 1st July 2020. Hatsop acquired 25% of the equity interest of Angleton for a cash consideration of 200 million. Angleton profits for the year were what year? Were 80 million, out of which a dividend of 20 million was declared on 31st of December 2019, 31st of December 2019. The 25% holding HATSOP, uh, 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 gives the HATSOP the power to participate in the operating and financing decisions of who. The most important thing there is, ladies and gentlemen, there was a cash consideration. So the cost of uh, this associate is 200, is 200. The cost of the associate is 200. Then very fast we come and add, come and add here, add here the share of, share of pups. And remember it is 20 what year? 
So in this case here, our profit, profit for the year, profit, the associates profit of the, for the year is how much? Post acquisition profit for the year is how much? We are told here on 1st July, 2020, Hatsop acquired 25% of the equity interest of Angleton for a cash consideration of 200 million. Angleton's profit for the year were 80 million, were 80 million, were 80 million, were 80 million, out of which a dividend of 20 million was declared on 31st December 2019, 2019, 2019. So we declared a profit of how much? A profit of 80 million for the year, 80 million for the year. 8 million for the year. But remember that this 8 million, ladies and gentlemen, 8 million is profit for a whole year. 8 million is a profit for the whole year, a profit for the whole year. And here there must be a mistake. This is supposed to be on 1st July 2019. 1st July 2019 here. Meaning that in this year 2019, when we were, we were preparing these financial statements, this associate was ours for how many months? The associate was ours for how many months? The associate was only ours for six months because we bought it on 1st of July, 2019. There is a correction there, 1st of July, 2019. So we have July, uh, August, September, October, November, December, December. So those are how many months? So this is annual profit, profit for 12 months. Six months is pre-acquisition. Six months will be post-acquisition and we want post-acquisition profit. So this data has to be time prorated. It has to be time prorated. It has to be time prorated. So add a share of PAPS, which will be 25% of 80 times six over 12. So this is a half, this is 40. So 25% of 40 is 10, is 10. So from there, ladies and gentlemen, from there, ladies and gentlemen, we need to come and ask ourselves, do we have any impairment loss in the associate? Let's see. We are told here, right? Angleton profit for the year were 80 million, out of which a dividend of 20 million was declared on 31st, December 2019. A dividend of 20 million was declared on 31st, 20, 31st December 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, remember this dividend of 20. Whenever dividend is declared, if your associate gives you dividend, if your associate gives you dividend, that signifies what? Basically, it is your investment in the associate that is reducing. Right, right. You're not retaining money there, right? Remember these investments in associates, one of the ways of having an investment in associates or any other investment here growing is for you to retain money there. Anytime you've got uh, dividends paid, always dividends will reduce what you so come and less dividends. Dividends paid. So dividends paid, they are telling us dividends we paid. They are telling us dividends we paid, dividends we paid. Dividends we paid, we are told here, out of which a dividend of 20 million was declared on 31st December 2019. 2019. 2019. So this is a, a dividend of what year? 20 million. So remember, out of this dividend, which it was declared at the end of the year, we can only take our share. Our share, which is what year? 25%. Our share, which is 25%, a quarter of this, which will be what here, which will be five. This shows that uh, our investment in our is reduced by that five. Here, we don't have any impairment loss. So that is it. So come and give us uh, the value, the value of the investment. The value of the investment at the end of the year will be what here will be 205. The value of uh, the investment in associate, the investment in associate, the investment in associate, will cost, will be that amount. This is what will go to the group statement of financial what year position, group statement of financial position. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to you watching more 
and better videos in the future. Keep glued. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.